What is up guys, Cargo Jenko here from the Tackle Rat, and today we're gonna to be talking about long spinning rods versus short spinning rods. Let's get started. So today we're gonna to be talking about um, why I believe using longer spinning rods is a lot more effective, uh, especially in deep water applications and also making long casts. Um, specifically, fishing up north for smallmouth, I believe that it's a lot more effective uh, in your land, how many you land. I believe it's a lot more effective in um, drifting, especially like when I was up in the St. Lawrence and fishing really deep water, like 20 to 30 feet. So there's specifically two models from Dobbins that I got right here with me. So first one and my favorite, I'm sure you guys, if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you've heard me talk about this rod. It's a a Dobbins Champion Extreme 742 SF. Uh, that's my designated drop shot rod. And then something I picked up this summer is the Dobbins Champion XP uh, 762 SF. Uh, both two power rods, but this one I'm gonna say is a little bit lighter, but you got that extra two inches. Um, so as far as smallmouth fishing, the first two applications that you need to have a longer spinning rod for and the reason that i bought this rod actually is for your shallow water smallmouth fishing so uh, you know generally when you're fishing shallow smallmouth especially up like on champlain on the st lawrence or maybe even like the stuff i fish uh back home here in illinois like small creeks and stuff it's generally clearer water and being able to make long casts with light baits, uh, like a hair jig, a spy bait, a small swim bait, uh, is very key because those smallmouth are really spooky, especially when you're in a big boat uh, and you're moving around with the trolling motor. Making long casts is key, and hunting those big shallow fish, uh, you definitely need to have like a seven, above a seven foot rod, uh, because if you're using a shorter rod, you're really at a disadvantage as far as casting distance. You know, hair jigs can get as small as like 1 32nd ounce, um, depending on how shallow you want to fish. And it's very hard to cast, especially in the wind and stuff like that. So that's why I like to use a longer rod for that. Um, but drop shotting is is where I really feel like, um, I, I feel like I have an edge over other people. A lot of the big name pros uh, and very good smallmouth fishermen use shorter rods, like six foot ten to seven foot. But you know, with my short, brief experience this summer smallmouth fishing, uh, I found personally that I like longer spinning rods better. Um, the first thing is fishing really deep water. So at Champlain and St. Lawrence, I was fishing anywhere from twenty to thirty feet at times, and so what happens? You know, in Champlain even, I was making a long cast, I was laying a sink to the bottom, and what, what that's doing with your drop shot, it's creating a large bow in the line. And when you go to set the hook uh, with a longer spinning rod, you're gonna have a lot more power. So you don't have to set the hook as hard necessarily. Uh, I was discussing this with my friend, uh, Brian Partek, who I traveled with for both of those tournaments. He uses a 702 SF, and that's another very popular drop shot model with Dobbins. And he's like, oh, well, you know, if I have less power with the shorter spinning rod, I'll just jack, you know, set the hook harder. But I personally feel like leaving it up to, uh, you know, how hard you set the hook and leaving it up to human error is not the way to go. I, I personally like using that longer rod, having more power, not having to set the hook as hard and knowing that I'll get them in the boat. Um, and I feel like, you know, having more power and being able to pick up that bow that's in the line when you're fishing a drop shot is a lot better. Uh, and then on the St. Lawrence, you're drifting, you know, anywhere from two to three mile hour current. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when you get out there, it's it's crazy. You know, you're using anywhere from half to an ounce drop shot weight. Um, and, and, there's, and that current is creating another bow in the line and being able to pick up that line and set the hook on those fish, um, even, even if you're just dropping it right to the side of the boat, there's gonna be a big bow on the line. And especially picking up a, you know, anywhere from a half to an ounce weight, along with that drop shot hook and driving it into that fish's mouth, 
uh, you're gonna need a lot of power for that. So that's why I like to use the longer spinning rods. And the only time I'm gonna use a shorter spinning rod is when I'm fishing targets. So this is generally largemouth fishing when you're on the bank and pitching to targets. So like I might be pitching a drop shot around docks, skipping a wacky rig uh, is another time I'll use a, a shorter spinning rod. But I'm talking, you know, drifting for smallmouth or fishing offshore just on a lake. Um, you're not pitching to any targets. You don't need to have accuracy necessarily with your cast. And having is the maximum amount of power that you can uh, is crucial. And you know, these, the, I, I keep talking about power, but these are not super stiff rods. Like I'll, I'll throw in a shot of me comparing the bend of the 762 SF to a 702 and it's very similar, but the only difference you're gonna have is, is uh, you know, that six extra inches at the end of the rod. And the other thing about Dobbins that I really like is the full cork handle. So you don't get that with the shorter spinning rods. You get that only uh, with your, your longer spinning rods. And I, uh, you know, didn't, didn't was kind of skeptical about like a, a full grip on a spinning rod. But after using it for a while, uh, I really like it because I feel like it gives me more control. I feel like it's a lot better when I'm when I'm making long casts. I feel like I have more control over the bait, over the rod, especially when I'm fighting the fish. And the other thing that I'm gonna talk about is fighting the fish. So smallmouth love to jump uh, and largemouth too. And that thing, the thing with, um, with that longer spinning rod is when you're fighting them, you don't have to bend down and, and you know stick your rod in the water. It's a, it's a lot longer rod, so you can just put your rod tip down, not as much work, and I feel like you're able to keep those fish down a little bit better when they come up to jump. Uh, you know, With the 742, I used that for drop shotting all summer, caught probably well over 100 smallmouth, and really during the tournament, at least only one fish that I clearly remember losing on a drop shot and um, yeah, I mean, I, that's definitely the way to go in my opinion for longer, for, you know, fishing for big smallmouth is using that longer spinning rod. Um, but yeah, definitely leave your thoughts down below on this. Just wanted to shoot a quick little video and talk about that. But thanks again guys for watching another episode of the Tackle Rat. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks.